Hi, this is Nikki and this is the second part of today's message. So the first part I forgot to read out a channeled letter. So I will ask the cards again for a number and then I will read out the corresponding number. So uh, these is channeled letters that I do between people's twins and their higher selves. So uh, first of all I'm just going to get the card with this message to say okay what does our twin want to tell us through this card and through this these letters so let us see what the message is okay 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 let's go let's go let's go what is it oh look at that clean it up right and look at this at the bottom of the deck it's a leg up giving each other a leg up so you have to watch the first video for today if you haven't seen it already but very much very much in line with this to just say we are what we're doing at the moment is clearing up our energy giving each other a leg up even though it may not feel like it in this physical reality that's exactly what we're doing clearing up energy moving up in the vibration moving up more and more in the love vibration so there's the stag as well though the stag is the sign of unconditional love so um we are basically clearing up our energy field so and that is on that is number 21 so there we go that's the letter that i'm going to read i'm going to read letter 21 so really like important to remember that's constantly what we're doing we're just moving through energy uh we are basically clearing up energies that are opposed to love so that means the fear the doubt the anxiety the worry the what ifs all of that we are <clears throat> constantly you know basically just churning through that energy and uh basically anchoring in a new wave so let's have a look i'm going to read letter 21 from my divine love letter books which are all channeled letters between people's twins there's book one two and three amazing way to get messages amazing way to get more and more tapped into the energy so all the love in all the world from all the people in the world couldn't even try to quantify or put into words how deeply my love goes for you it is immeasurable it is beyond what the mind could even comprehend it is so beautiful that it would quite literally take your breath away and leave you dazed and confused and wanting more i know that this is what we both feel for each other a giddy intoxicating mix of pure love pure lust pure embodied passion passion for life and passion to love wholeheartedly to love like we've never loved before and like our lives depended on it. Believe me when I say, our day is coming. It will come. So, I don't know whether you can hear that, but as I was just saying that, it will come. I heard people were cheering from behind. <laughs> so just say, yes, it will come. That day will come. So this is from book two. Same letter, 21 book two. So, that I love you. That I so desperately want to be with you. That I wish we could just make that happen right now. That I wish our lives weren't so complicated. That I wish we were teenagers and we were falling in love with no hassles, no responsibilities, no ties, just you and me. Our hearts beating only for each other and we could love each other wholly, completely, with every ounce of our beings and every fibre of our bodies. It's a daily struggle to get through the day without holding you in my arms and being able to tell you, I love you, you're my baby, I love you forever. So, and that daily struggle, because like the more that you get towards your soul, the more that you feel that soul connection, the more that you feel the energy all around you, <clears throat> it's almost, it is intoxicating because... There are moments when it just feels like sheer like bliss because you think wow there's somebody that is literally by my side all the time uh but the flip side of that is also that we do actually want them <laughs> to be by our side not just in spirit right but in the physical so letter 21 third one i'm so sorry that i've been so confusing and made things so difficult I wish that I could rewind the clock and go right back to the beginning again. I would definitely do everything different. I would have just trusted what my heart was telling me. I wouldn't have suppressed my feelings and pushed down how I felt and pushed you away. 
I'm so sorry. I know it must have been so difficult for you. And I'm so happy that you have stuck by my side. I'm in awe of how amazing you are. I feel like the luckiest man alive that you are mine and I am yours. I can't tell you how much I love you. Right. So, the more that we stand strong in our light, the more that we follow our own, you know, inner peace, inner happiness, the more that we help to bring each other both you know basically we draw each other to the light we're the anchor to bring down this new vibration and that again in itself is just quite amazing because when it is those really difficult moments when you do really want to be together in the physical and you just think oh is this ever going to happen it's that moment of just thinking well that's what you came for that's what you signed up for that's why you've woken up to this you know to this twin flame journey and um it's not that we're all just you know wishful thinking it's you know it's happening and it's happening all around us so stay true and uh you know just like those letters said i'm sorry that this has been difficult i'm sorry that it's taking a long time but actually you know the more and more that we learn we grow we find our own inner peace the stronger that we become and we do that together so i really hope that helps um like i say if you would like to have a healing a reading or a channeling or to get any of my books all details are in the description box below the video down there but in the meantime i hope you stay well stay bright stay switched on to the light see ya bye